This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey. For excellent low poly Harkins, check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Bookie Knight here, and welcome back to the lore through. Thank y'all so much for joining me on this weird, wild journey. Um, we made some decent progress last episode, and we are finally ready for the Spank Tank, also known as Sense Fortress. Uh, before we do that, though, I think it's time that I try my hand at taking on this Titanite Demon. Let's take a look and see what we can do. Um, <clears throat> I don't know much about the lore behind these Titanite Demons other than the fact they are pain in the butts. And I know also the tail has a hitbox to it, so let's just wait a second. Um, whoop. Oh ho ho! I don't think these dudes respawn. Oh, okay, I deserve that one. I got greedy. Let's go ahead and just S this up, because we are going to go back to the bonfire before we go to Sen. There we go! Oh, there we go. 2000. And we've got Demon Titanite. That's what we were looking for. Mainly, I also wanted to kind of learn the ways of the tactics. So let's go ahead and look at this Demon Titanite for a moment. Special Titanite stolen from a faceless stone beast known as a Titanite Demon. Um, I don't know if y'all reckon or actually took a look at the uh, demon's face and noticed that it didn't have any. So when the nameless blacksmith deity passed from several slabs, great beasts arose. The power of Titanite remains within them, and they still roam Lordran today. You're, we're going to run into a few Titanite demons. I know they're some incense fortress, but they're entirely optional. But what I'd like to do before we move on is I want to buy a couple of repair boxes. Let's go ahead and buy... Well, I guess we're just going to buy one. And then, let's go ahead and repair the Drake Sword, the Battle Axe, the Crest Shield. See, I keep forgetting that... Go get yourself killed. That the armor and weapons don't regen uh, when you get back to a bonfire like in Dark Souls 2. You have to have them repaired, so that's what the repair box is for. So now we actually, I don't think I needed to buy two. I just think we should have bought one. Oh, we didn't tool repair for one. Okay, cool. Oh, so we just had one. Okay, never mind. I guess our limit is one then. Let's go ahead and get some repair powder too. That's good though. So we don't have a chance to get back to Andre or some of the other blacksmiths in the area. Well, uh, you need. Let's. And one other thing I also want to do. Um, let's go ahead and buy some arrows. Just in case. Let's see if he has anything to say about Sen now that we've rung both bells. I know little of the Dark Road Garden, although I've heard rumors of a divine blacksmith who resides there. Those who get stumped in the catacombs seek him for divine weapons. Interesting. I know little okay. Look, look. So I guess we've exhausted everything. We'll in there. So we are now finally off to Sen's Fortress. Which is actually a pretty polarizing area. I know a lot of people that absolutely love Sen's Fortress. And another, uh, several people that absolutely despise it. Because, well, it's incredibly difficult. But I'm going to get into the lore behind here. But this is the only clear way to get up to Anor Londo, which we can't see from here, but we will... Actually, that's probably the wall that will take us to Anor Londo. But this area is basically, from what I've gathered, kind of a proving ground to make sh kind of like the Undead Asylum. Well, I didn't mean to. I was going to try... What's that pressure plate? Hooray. This area is full 
of traps and snakes. However, from what I understand, these dudes are easily prone to the backstab. Exhibit A. That's not so bad. But we need to be on the lookout are the traps, because there are quite a few of these. So let me kill this guy and then talk a little bit about the lore. Oh, baby, a double. I don't think I'll be able to beat Sense Fortress in one session. Um, I'm not trying to discount myself. There's just... There's a lot to take in, including an NPC that I want to rescue tonight. If we can get to the boss, I'll be happy. But there's also a lot to explore. It's ragdoll your way. Hey, Ray, you want to play ragdoll rock with this sucker? <laughs> anyway, so, as I just said, so Sense Fortress is kind of a proving ground to make sure that undead who are to travel to Anor Orlando or the City of the Gods are, well, worthy. Definitely want to go up there. And obviously this whole place is just honeycombed with traps. So we want to be very careful, even though it's probably easy to kind of rush it. Oh, oh god. No! I don't know which way to go. Let's just go ahead. You're in a corner here. Oh, never mind. We got Titanite Demons. Ho oh ho! I might just have to homeward bone out of here. Provided I don't die. Oh, you jerk off. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, oh. That was not my intent. Oh, I'm getting completely destroyed by the um, snakes, the serpent creatures. Uh, let's go ahead and remove these things very quickly. We don't need to worry about these things right now. But. We have plenty of homeward bones. Um, I can't do it on a ladder. Drek. Well, something died, so I'll take that action. Okay, you know what? Yeah. We, we nerfed that. Oh! And there was something right there. I don't... That was probably not the Covetous uh, Serpent Ring, which is what I really want. I believe that's a higher. I know, I know, I know. I should have looked. Anyways, so, Sense Fortress. Now, a lot of the fan theories are that Sen means a thousand um, in, in Japanese. Um, however, from what uh, ENB has mentioned, is that. Ah, I thought you were going to trigger. I thought you were trigger the knife trap. Oh well. Is that it's not written. Anyway, so, um, since the word Sen means a thousand, uh, fan theory is that the place is known as the House of a Thousand Traps. I know, which sounds a lot more epic than it actually is. Um, however, like Ian B had actually talked about, it's not written in kanji, it's written in, uh, katakima. Which, I'm not sure what the difference is, but then again, Japanese is not one of my strong su suits. I don't speak a word of it, other than just the generic touristy stuff. Um... Oh, I tried. Oh, we got him down quite a bit, though. There we go. So, it most likely because of the dialect, 
is that this was actually a name, and that gives rise to something behind these pots. Soul of a brave warrior, I'll take that. Could use some humanity, though. Oh well, once I get the covetous gold serpent ring, we should be a little bit better when it comes to... Maybe that was the covetous gold serpent ring. I don't know. I hope that's... I don't want to have the homeward bone again. Actually, no, that's probably what that is over, so over there. Oop. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. So it's most likely a name of Sen. Now that gives rise to another fan theory that that Sen could have been a offspring of Lord Gwyn. I don't know. Get out of the way here. I'm looking for the pressure plates. Well, we know that's a regular save because the chain's curling away from us, so we're not going to get eaten. We got two large Titanite shards. That's good news for us. So. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, or that could happen, for instance. I was not expecting that. But look for a second at this detail right here of this divot in the road. As another snake creature falls to its death, that's cool too. Um, I'm fine with that. We're gonna go ahead and give this creature... We're gonna ignore this creature for a little bit because we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, so there is some speculation that Sen is in fact a child, a lost child of Lord Gwyn. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, so I gotta go that way. Yeah, okay. But look at this divot for a second while I immediately try to lion strap past the boulder and not die. Probably not gonna manage. Traverse the white light. I don't know what's over here. But from also little something additional that Miyazaki said, it was this was probably one of Sense Fortress was meant to be kind of a Kind of an area to be like, hey, check us out, players. We survived um, the ringing of the bells, only to go throw it headlong into this trap. <laughs> Eat it. So, needless to say, Miyazaki's sense of humor is hope. Oh, not removed. I mean, it's often said that speaking of his sense of humor, I just took a face full of rock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. Get out of the way. 
Okay, so here we can control where these rocks go. Let's just hide here for a moment. I think that should go straight ahead. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. So we're safe for now, but let's just take a look. So there's the outside. Ooh. Let's just go ahead and not go there for a moment. Um, we are going to go back down there in a minute. Um, oh, 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 sweet daisy. Ghost takes us back to the outside. Maybe a covetous gold serpent ring. Yeah, you stay put there. Let's go ahead and S this up again. precarious situation here. I think there's a ladder. I don't think we're close to the top of the fortress. We all, now that we've broken the wall, we should be able to... S Come on, get out of the way, dude. Come on, mage. Come at me, mage breath. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Go straight for the tab. Bye bye. Um, anything around yonder corner? That might be what we're looking for. Let's be careful. a stab. And I'm going to explain in a second if this is what we're actually looking for. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, which is probably on one of the lower levels, is a ring that is makes it easier to find um, various items. Usually, I think it's humanity is the key thing. Okay, now we're getting close to the top of the fortress, so let's go on back to where the boulder trap broke, and then we can um, go through that wall. Oh. Oh. Oop. There we go. You can see how precarious this whole level is. It actually is pretty fun, though. I will give it credit for that. yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Push that over there again. I think now that we go down here, because it's broken through the wall. Did it break through the wall? Yes, it did. Exactly what we were looking for. Before we do that, what is over here? This looks like a prison of some kind. 
There's death number one. That's okay. For one death, we did pretty well. We learned quite a chunk of the lay of the land for Sen. I don't mind that at all. So, let's take what we learned and go back. Yeah. I don't know. Part of me wants to get to the bonfire. But, I feel like there's so much to take in. Oh. Okay, um. Oh, 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 yeah. There we go. Get wrecked. A <laughs> couple of, uh... couple of shots of fireballs. That's good to know that, actually, that... Well, I guess that makes sense, since the everlasting... Uh, that's lightning. Never mind. I stand corrected. Demons are vulnerable to fire, whereas dragons are averse to lightning. Let's just get our bearings for a second. That is where we need to go. So. I don't know if... Do we need to drop down? I feel like... Yeah, I think we do. I think that's how we get the Covenant's Gold Serpent Ring. Hooray. Well, I mean, we have plenty of... We got seven Homeward Bones, and we rarely Homeward Bones, so... God, I'm still wearing my, um... Just watch. This is gonna be the case. So let's get up here. Let's Estus. If that is the Covenant's Gold Serpent Ring, then we should be good. I'll be happy. And then I'll use my second Homeward Bone. That's okay. This is probably good. Just watch. Large Soul of Proud Knight. Nope, not the case in point, so it's probably higher. So let's go ahead and bone back. Look at a guilty. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's just more stuff to uncover. So we'll just need to be a little bit more careful on what we do. Yeah, so, I mean, um, I don't, doesn't say who built Sense Fortress, um, but it is a time going back to the Age of Fire, the first Age of Fire, mind you, before Gwyn. Get one of these guys. There he comes. Then, not too, I'm not too afraid of the Serpent Dudes, to be honest with you. I think... The size alone makes them a little more formidable than you might think once you pick up on their patterns. It's easy to turn them into slag. I mean, I could probably use the Drake Sword on them, but... The Axe is doing a fine enough job that it already is. Okay, so... The wall we broke, by the way, with the rock, and in turn ended the life of the serpent in waiting, um, should lead us to another NPC, which is um, not really key to the plot, but like uh, most of these characters, um, by interacting with them, you learn more of the backstory. And that's just what I'm trying to do. off. 
Ah, uh, eat it, sucker. I deserve that one. I got a little bit too greedy. That's okay. No worries. Okay. Death number two. I don't know. If y'all want to keep a t death count about how many times I died and said, I'll just be curious. Um, anyway, so I know I called it the Spank Tank. It's got a couple of different names. The Spank Tank, the Fun House. But for those that have played Dark Souls, they know that fans like to create meme-tastic little things for the places they've been. How did I... Stupid autofocus. I'm not even about to go into what Anne Orlando is called. For those that have played this and know the nickname of Anne Orlando, well... I'll let you guys giggle and smirk to your... I can't believe I actually got that backstab in. There we go. Okay. We're getting there. I really want to get a Serpent Greatsword. They say that's what... ENB often says that that's one of the best uh, weapons in the game for... Um... OP tank builds. I mean, I'm... Stab him across the butt. I mean, the Drake Sword did its job early in game, and when I do Speed Souls, um, I'll probably, you know, depending on if Orin lets me or not, considering that's the whole thing is based upon me and Orin. Um... Oh, ho, ho, that was close. Maybe... Maybe that's actually the ring. I know a lot of players probably would immediately try to race this guy to the other side and then get sidetracked by everything. But, like anything in Dark Souls, you gotta be patient. Constantly patient. Now, here's another little tip, the trick that I learned, is when when you cross this, most players will probably have their shield up, well, I mean, most tank builds, but it actually widens their hitbox. Unbelievable. You know, I, I don't think I could probably hit him with a fireball from a distance. So that's death number three. No, that's death number four. We're doing okay. We doing fine. I definitely need to... Let me look at my stats really quickly. Um, I definitely want to get five more strength. Probably another five dex. Um, endurance, I want to get up to 20. So I can put on the rest of my... Um, put on the rest of my stone armor. And not mind to be at the risk of fat rolling. Let's go and trigger that trap. Get that out of the way. I think when Orin played this, he had some. He was not too happy with uh, the stone. Or the stone. The lizard creatures. I'm trying to remember. Or it could have been when Josh Wasabi was playing it years ago and he was playing as a deprived. There we go. Anyway. So I'd be. Anyway, so the. Going back to the rocks, um, I just thought that was really cool about how 
Miyazaki and the FromSub dev team actually show evidence of the rocks rolling along the ground. I thought that was so cool that it's it's completely created a divot in the road and and the walking area. And for all y'all that and well for and those for y'all that are wondering where these gigantic rocks are coming from, we're going to find out. We will have full opportunity to see who's hucking those rocks at us. Possibly even have an opportunity to kill them. I don't want to have to use another bleeding Estus. water really quickly. Anyways, so it increase so if you have your shield up, it actually increases the hitbox. So you don't want to my way piece of garbage there we go get my souls back okay so whoop back here we want to take this dude out Sleeping lizards lie. Is that? Oh yeah, we gotta adjust the rock again. Somewhere around here, Siegmeier's hanging out too. Down below, I think. Let's go and take this dude out first. Oh, we got a mage on our hands. Yeah, I think Sigmire's down here. So we gotta go help out our onion bro at some point in the future. And yeah, look at this divot. Just to s the level of detail that Miyazaki and company have put into. Okay, now we got two of them. Let's. Let's ask this. probably die again, but before we die, we are going to go down here, explore this area really quickly, maybe, oh, no, oh, oh, good lord, that was close, you can find our friend Siegmeier. around here. 
Maybe that elevator. I don't know. Maybe we have to do something. Well, here. Okay, so hang on. Um, got this shiny thing over here. So maybe that's where we need to go. There's the side of that elevator again. Okay, um, let's, let's go ahead and get our priority straight for a second. Let's go ahead and switch, cut through here. Take out this bloodthirsty lizard creature. We're safe from the rock fall. Yeah, we I deserve that. Don't want to have to use humanity, but I'm going to have to use humanity because I'm out of Estus. Here's where we need to go. We need to whack the wall. And then we'll adjust it again. Before we do that, look up there though for a second. That's where they're coming from. So let's push it this way. Have it destroy that. the way I came up. I think. It was it? No. Oh. Burks. We'll come back to that. So what we might do for the sake of For the sake of conserving humanity and for my own benefit is if we can go down here, rescue the character we're hoping for. We can also unlock a possibly unlock a shortcut. And then we'll homeward bone again. And Then we can also kindle the bonfire. But first, let's go talk to this gentleman. Hmm. You seem quite empty. <laughs> A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty handed. But I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is not in my mind. The inactivity is real. Well, let's help you out, Logan. Because we have the master key, we have the ability to free him. 
Oh, heavens. Thank you. There is had enough to resume my travels. There's a little bit of a few things first, and I do you a favor. I will return to Farley Shrine. Speak with me then, so that I may impart my sorcery. <laughs> See if he has anything else to say. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll be along later. <laughs> I'll be just fine, young man. Anything else you want to say to us, Logan? Oh, okay. So Big Hat Logan is another character, another NPC that deals with sorcery. So a hero. I think one of these cages also acts as a shortcut. Before we do anything like that, let's take a look. There, I think that must be the parish, and down there is Dark Garden. So I think what we're going to do, we have just got to test a couple of these things really quickly. So once again, I think one of these is an elevator. Um, or maybe that's at an upper level, I don't know. Um... Maybe it's after Logan disappears, or maybe we have to raise one of them, maybe? Maybe it's one of these. Hang on, maybe it's this one? I've got a sworn one of these has acts as an elevator to the lower level as it comes to shortcut. Oh, hang on, carry on, we got a couple more. Okay. It could be a different one. I don't know. Now we've checked all everything around here, so... Well, maybe it's... This one. I'm afraid to get too close to it. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not much of a shortcut, but a shortcut is a shortcut is a shortcut. Just gives you something to think about. So I think the last thing we're going to do for this session is I want to know what that elevator thing is. Can we go down here actually? So I thought I saw something glowing. So, that's not a mimic. That's good news. Ring of Steel Protection. That's worth a look. That's definitely worth a minute. Boost defense versus physical attacks. This ring belonged to the Knight Great Knight Rendal. It grants its wear protection by boosting defense against physical attacks. In the many legends surrounding the Night King Rendal, one of the more well-known speaks of his standing down a giant drake and slashing it to pieces. So I think we're going to switch out the rust and iron ring and put on steel protection. And then I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do then now is go back to the bonfire kindle it, and then I think we'll call it a session, because it's pretty late and I'm stupid tired. Um, so let's go ahead. So we have covered a decent amount. Okay, so never mind. We have to be human for that. So we'll just go ahead and leave that as is. I'll probably do a little bit of leveling off camera, but we'll just see what transpires. So, um, once again, thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. Um, if you have any comments, feedback, strats, let me know in the comments below. I do read every comment. I try to reply to every comment. 
And once again, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being the sponsor of the Bogey Night Project. I deeply appreciate it. Once again, if y'all like low-poly horror games with a focus on ambient, storyline, character development, and overall creep factor, check the link in the description below to go check out some of his games. They're fantastic. So, of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my Temporally Down Twitch page, and if you're so morbidly fascinated, my Patreon. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic evening. I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.